one of my neat little surprises I got for Christmas was this Star Trek Into Darkness special Blu-ray DVD digital copy set, if you will. I don't know that they sell these brand new anymore. Uh, my brother was nice enough to get this when it came out, but you can still find these on eBay. <clears throat> it is the Into Darkness, the second of the new Star Trek timeline. It's the movie, it's a Blu-ray, it's a DVD. <clears throat> Too many sausage balls yesterday. Um, it's a digital copy that I believe you can download, but it also comes with a ship, which is a little hard to see. So we're going to open this up and see what's in here. I already got the plastic cut. First of all, it comes with the DVD and a metal tin that opens like a book. You got the Into Darkness. I believe this is the Blu ray. And behind it, you have the DVD. I don't actually have a Blu ray, Blu -ray player yet. My birthday is coming up very soon. Maybe I will get lucky. Because this isn't the only Blu ray I got for Christmas. You got a little insert here. And I like the movie. Um. The tin is nice. I wouldn't have personally really cared if it was a tin or a plastic case just to have the movie. What I really, really, really like about this is the ship. Apparently it's a Hot Wheels Enterprise. And I've actually already gotten into this from excitement. But you see it just says it's the Vengeance I believe. Yes, the USS Vengeance, which was in the movie, and a little stand. I was packaged in ever so gently. And the ship. It's um I believe it's all plastic. And the sails are a bit flimsy. Which is kind of disappointing. They're very thin. But this isn't really meant as a toy. <clears throat> it's meant to be put on the shelf and admired, which is fine. It's lightweight. It's it's inexpensive. It's, I mean, it's not made of heavy-duty materials. Just basically plastic. Maybe some screws here and there. It's not very detailed. It's got a little bit of paint on it, but mostly it's just gray with a little dark gray but it'll look nice sitting on the shelf just snaps into here you can actually pose it at different angles this is a neat little set I don't know how much it costs brand new but I looked and you can get them on eBay I've seen prices anywhere from thirty some dollars to fifty some dollars it's possible if you look you can find just the ship separately but I am a very fond of the ships of Star Trek, Star Wars, any sci-fi, Firefly that's my favorite thing about them is the ship, the technology as you can see here behind me where I sit I have a micro machines collection that I bought most of these back when they were brand new in 95, 96 I bought different sets there's a few that I missed because I bought them as they were coming out and didn't get the big box sets which came with stuff that I don't have namely the rare one that has I believe the Pasto, the Enterprise E and something else those are the main ones I don't have. So we've got a little place just for now. Gonna set the vengeance. And I can even pose it so that it's going at different angles. Which is kind of neat. Kind of very neat.
I think I'm going to have to build some new shelves because I have recently subscribed to the Star Trek magazine or Star Trek Starships magazine, something like that. I haven't got my first one yet, but it ships maybe roughly this size that come in the mail once a month. It's a subscription service, and I'm very much looking forward to that. It would have been nice to have it before Christmas, but I'll start with this. My micro machines and my towering vengeance. And I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and if you want one of these sets, go on eBay and, and grab them up while they're still around. Thank you for watching.